Hey guys, today I'm going to be painting Flops for Stuffed Fables. Now Flops is kind of an interesting character just because he's the kind of happy-go-lucky uh, character, which I like um, mainly because, you know, he's kind of the rabbit and, I don't know, for some reason I still think Winnie the Pooh when I think a rabbit kind of cartoon character and rabbit and Winnie the Pooh is not happy-go-lucky. But this guy really is. He's just kind of having fun. I think he really likes adventure and my daughter really enjoys playing him both because of how he's designed and his personality. Speaking of design, as you can see, a ton of mold lines again. This is just like Theodora and is pretty common for a lot of these. Um, not all of them are as bad. Um, I'll get to that when I, when I get to Lumpy. But as you, I mean, this is just terrible. You're going to see plastic going off everywhere especially by the end of it I, I'm my fingers are covered in it it's just it's really bad however the design of the sculpt is actually quite nice I think it might be the perfect level of detail and simplicity to really come across a, to where he essentially has an action pose but it's also obvious who and what he is and the equipment that he has and I don't know I really like it so there is no bowstring connecting the arrow like the the you know the actual bow from end to end and i noticed that kind of after the fact but once i did i kind of didn't stop noticing it yeah it's whatever i'm fine with it it would have looked odd otherwise i am priming it in gray so just as an fyi and you can kind of see the difference in the gray there we're starting with ochre brown so he's going to be a little bit more yellow than theodora who was a little bit more brown and i just think this was nice to kind of differentiate them a lot um because i think in the concept art they're fairly close uh, Theodore is much more orangey, but otherwise I think they're pretty much, they're really close. And I'm painting them a little bit farther apart, but I, I'm okay with that. And I don't know, it was a, a choice I made. Um, and in fact, you could have even, I've seen tan versions of him. I think that actually looks pretty good too. So it's, I think a tan would have looked nice, but then you wouldn't have gotten as much of a difference between the kind of white color that he has on his stomach and tail. So as you can see, paints up really quick, really easy, even easier than Theodora in my opinion, though perhaps I'm just getting used to it. And moving on to Elfic Flesh. This is essentially Pallid Witch Flesh, but not clumpy and crappy like I, my Citadel Pot is, um, since I bought the darn thing from the Warhammer store itself, so I don't know what the excuse is there. Anyway, uh, it's kind of a an off-white with a tiny bit of like a, I don't know, a peach color to it, a, a little hint of tan, something like that. Anyway, I thought it was kind of nice. Uh, buff, I'm just mixing a slight bit in, and I'm actually going to do two layers of it, but I'm going to show one, I believe. And this is going on, again, the top of the head, at the angle, on the sides of the legs, on kind of the the side of his, his torso there, on the tops of his ears a tiny bit in the back of the head just to where the ears go and on the tops of the arms and really that's it I'm not adding shadow um, I, a little bit in the creases later but otherwise I'm just highlighting up on him to bring him a little bit closer to that tan that I kind of talked about because I did kind of like how that looked oh in the tops of his nose obviously but yeah I mean you can see by the just the length of this video how much quicker this goes which I think is is quite nice I also like that because they're supposed to be stuffed animals, you can be a little rough with the paint. Um, I'm actually purposely not really... Um, a real quick, Emperor's Children, just on the nose there. It's a little dab. You'll use that later, so keep that color out. Lothurn Blue. I chose to do a bright blue. You could have done it a little bit of a darker blue. I think in the concept art, it kind of looked a little dark. But again, wanted him a little bit bright and cheerful, and the splash of color really helps with that. Um, Calvary Brown. Now this is kind of a, a different choice. So this is a different red from the concept art. I could have done a, a, a brown. I, I probably used like, I don't know, maybe flat earth and then highlight it up. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not sure. I, I could have picked, I have tons of browns. I think I have more browns than anything. However, I really like this color because I love dark reds. Um, and I thought it again just added a little bit of color differenti differentiation. Um, between his bow and the scabbard of Theodora. So that was kind of a decision based off of the other ones here. So here I'm putting buff off camera, sorry about that, on the kind of uh, bow strings on either side. 
This is just straight up buff, which I only mixed with the other ochre brown, so it is a unique color on this on this miniature. Here is flat blue. Now this blue will look a little bit wrong, mainly because I didn't shake it up good enough in the in the kind of dropper. So when I dropped it, it was mostly just like the top part that wasn't quite mixed, which made it a little bit brighter. Or a little bit darker. I, I can't remember. Either way, you'll see me paint over it. I'll fix it. I realize it right about right about now, and so I'm, I'm going to fix it here and paint over uh, with the correct color of flat blue. Though really, it doesn't matter because I'm going to add that Drushi violet. You can see the two different blues there now, and I'll, I'll fix that uh, shade or wash to it. Um, and so really, you're just trying to judge the color that shows slightly through the wash, which I, I lay pretty heavy on there. Um, and I thought flat blue worked quite well. Um, I could have used Cantor Blue, but I used him again on uh, um, Theodora, so I wanted a different blue here. Drushi Violet, and again, I'm just going to uh, rub it on there. I um, I don't spend a lot of a lot of work on there. Uh, Parasite Brown on the kind of arrow shafts. This is a new color. It's pretty close to several of the other browns, but I don't know. I like it. It stays in kind of that orange theme but is still quite brown as well. So I have oranges and reds and then a splash of blue, which I kind of like. Red leather, again, staying in that kind of red-brown theme here. That's for the kind of uh, the feathers. I don't know why they're kind of feathers. They are. Um, though I don't know why they're on the, like, plunger arrow <laughs> that he has. I'm not sure quite how that works. The suction cup arrows. But, uh... Again, very easy to paint everything. The mold lines on this are fantastic and great. It's obvious what everything is that you're looking at. Just all around really nice. So here is a fun color. Abaddon Black and Flat Earth 2 to 1. This gives you kind of this very, very dark, but still obviously brown color that I really, really like. And I'm going to bring that to his button eyes and eyebrows as well. And again, I like the fact that it's not black. I, I don't know. I really liked it. How this brown looks especially on his face add a bit more flat earth and that's going to be the heavy highlight that's just going to be on the plunger there and again a little dot on the actual eyebrows all right then i'm going to bring flat earth out and this is just flat earth by itself and this is just for the little bit of stitching on his face so he also has these kind of rivets where the pieces meet that looks like they've been stitched and there's a little bit behind his back ear that goes over his bow I had to get that off camera afterwards. I noticed it like last minute, so be sure to get that. Then I'm grabbing Seraph and Sepia, and I'm putting that just slightly in the folds behind his legs and then around kind of all of his joints. And then I'm going to go through on the feathers as well and add it there. I didn't originally plan that, but I felt it would add some definition. Now, I apologize. It did... Oh, I thought I recorded this. Apparently, I stopped recording it instead of recording it, so I, I tried to record twice, and that turned it off, right? But this is Moot Green, and then for the purple, it's Violet and Emperor's Children, two to one with more Violet. And I'm just trying to recreate kind of that rug look. You're about to see the, the concept art again. Um, the lines aren't perfect, but I'm also kind of okay with that because... It seems kind of dreamy to me. I don't know. I wasn't actually too concerned about it, um, but the, the angle is a little different. So there's that rug. I was talking about and there is the finished miniature nothing shiny on this model at all so it's just a matte varnish on him and I'm really happy with him I think he uh, he looks great I think he painted really quick and I love the the kind of splashes of color I was able to introduce to him and just all around a pleasure to paint um, once you get rid of those mold lines which are atrocious but again that's just part of the hobby and uh, I got a little frustrated because I just wanted to paint these models and I kept having to do that, but you see on the backs of the legs, by the way, that's Seraphim Seppi and how it just really kind of gets in those creases. Love that. I highly suggest doing that. Just adds that definition. Um, anyway, I really enjoyed painting him. I think he turned out great and I hope you enjoyed it too. If you did, please give it, this video a thumbs up. That is always helpful. It's always appreciated and makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside as if I had a little plastic heart as if I was a stuffy as well. Anyway, guys, I always appreciate you watching this. I will create a painting guide for this. The just raw paint list is down below in the description, but if you want an in-depth painting guide where I actually talk about my thoughts and opinions, tips and tricks, a better order than what I painted it in, um, kind of looking back on it where you can reuse colors easier and all that kind of stuff with some, some, gra um, some you know, kind of art 
thrown in there just to make it look a little fancy. That will be on my Patreon, so you can head there if you wish to look at that, or if you just simply want to support, I would always greatly appreciate that and would be honored to be supported by you. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I always appreciate it, and I'll talk to you again real soon.